Red Carpet North, it's the bowling game with Lee Rothman and Tom Cole. Thank you very much. Boy, this crowd, and we have a big crowd tonight, almost 2,200 people will packed into our studio. We'll see one of the great shows of all time. These two teams are sensational. Who told you? They did. Oh. In any event, tonight, we would like to have you know that from the bowling capital of the world, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it is the Wednesday night edition of our show and already the 5th of December. Team number one tonight, they bowl a red carpet bolero. And their sponsor is on the team. His name is Bob Rawlings. Let's hear it for Rawlings Picture Framing. <laughs> team number two, they bowl for their sponsor, Nick Diamopoulos. Did I get that right? Nick Diamopoulos. Boy, that's pretty good. Red Carpet West Dallas is the house they bowl. Let's hear it for Mr. D's Imports. <laughs> a couple of sponsors we want you to be tonight. Number one, Hopkins Savings Alone, who say we're here to build your future. And we have a guest from Hopkins we're going to have stand up for just a few minutes. And also tonight, another sponsor we want you to meet. Oh, a brand new one, too, and we are very happy to have them. Regency Curtis Mathis, with five convenient locations in Milwaukee on your screen right now. That's the fine organization that George Bamberger works for when he's not managing baseball games. And speaking of uh, one of our sponsors, Hopkins Savings and Loan, we have a gentleman in the audience now who is the manager, Tom, of the new Hopkins Savings and Loan office in your old backyard of Germantown, yeah. Wisconsin. They're opening up in the Washington Square Mall, the shopping center there, and it's Friday night, the grand opening of the shopping center and Hopkins Savings and Loan. We would like a big welcome for our friend Mike Capriolo, the new manager. Michael, stay there. We're going to get a shot of you. There he is. Thank you, Mike. And boy, one heck of a bowler, too. Y is he really? No. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that. Now, we bowled together in a recent tournament. I won it, and he finished 112 out of a possible 109. I like but the way you make him feel at home, you know? I want to make him feel <laughs> relaxed. No, he's a good bowler, but I'll tell you, if you need money, go see him. I do. You gotta, if you don't need money, don't go see him. <laughs> you need money, don't go see him, he said. No, he, you're going to have a lot of services for a lot of people over there. Right now, you want to tell them about the highs and lows and all that good stuff? Well, this show only has highs. You know that. But anyway, in the top 16, we only have 12 teams right now the top 16. You gentlemen will make 13 and 14, not necessarily in that position. But after tomorrow night's show, we'll have our initial top 16 for this new winter roll-off. And right now, the high is a 348. The low is a 251. It's a pretty big point spread there. Now, generally in the past, it's been good for a team to, to get about a 330 or higher because that way you'll stay in. We've got about eight and a half weeks to go yet before the tournament comes up. So if you get 330, 335 and up, you should be able to you know withstand that eight-week pressure. And we've Giving away $4,480 so far in the pin money jackpot. The high man bowler right now, 89 for John Meacham. We will have four frames of bowling, the last four frames of a regular bowling game, five head-to-head -head matches, and in this corner, from the Rawlings Picture Framing Company, let's welcome Ben Marcel. Ben, come on over here. <coughs> what, about 6'1"? Six, 6'3". Six, three. Six, three. And a lot of weight. <laughs> Tell me about the team. In one word, how would you describe them? I don't know of any. <laughs> no word to describe this team. <laughs> no, actually, this is, this is your first time on the show. Mr. Dees has been on once before, so they're a little more relaxed. But I want to tell you something. Those folks in five states are your friends. <laughs> is that well, scary? Stay where they're at. <laughs> You've had some big things, like a 250-something? 260. 260. You've also had a hole-in-one. Yeah, at a golf course in Menominee Falls. Terrific. And uh, your average currently is what? 177. Very good. Frank Raypant, Sr. of Pine Avenue in South Milwaukee is your bowling buddy. Go on over to lane 59, and we'd like to have you meet from Mr. D's Imports, Carl Strangstelein, right here. And that is spelled S-T-R-A-N-G, S-T-A-L-I-E-A, I-E-N, I -E -N. okay. I want to find out something about your team. How would you describe them? Oh, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, All right. Remember the last time you were on the show? Yeah, I remember. What did you get? See not, how you're... Not very much. Wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> Tonight, Tony and Hetty Okupniak of St. Francis are watching. They're your bowling buddies, and your average is what? About 170. Okay, you ready to go? Yep. 
Go meet uh, Ben. Let's make some money for somebody. $380 let's put in there and send them off for match number one. Ben, take it away. If we have a perfect game of the show, everybody knows six strikes in a row. That bowler will win one year of free bowling from the Red Carpet Bowling Centers in Milwaukee and will also be eligible to win the 1980 Chevrolet Citation from Dan Sabino Chevrolet at 4020 North Green Bay Avenue, Milwaukee at the corner of Capitol and Green Bay. Get only a pretty good hit. Um... Uh, and as we were talking the last couple of nights, now if you and I went in that nine-tap tournament that's going on at the Red Carpet Lanes in the month of December, we'd win a fortune. That'd be it? a strike right there. Yeah, it would. Because any nine counter up counts as a strike. Well, it's the most exciting uh, tournament coming up, I guess, in years. Uh oh, oh he hooked I away. That really we're going to find out about it tonight from Steve Temple. He's going to be talking to us about Steve it. Temple Steve Temple is here. The Steve Temple is. The here. Steve yeah. Temple is in our audience. Yeah. You don't even know his title. He's the sales director of all the Red Carpet that's Lanes. That's correct. <laughs> Believe me, he wrote me a whole script on that. But he's going to be telling us about that tournament that's got the whole town excited because all of us have a problem getting strikes, but most of us can get nine counts. Well, some of us can. And that, <laughs> that serves as a strike. Anyway, we're not uh, staying on the subject of tonight's little get-together. Right. For Wednesday, the 5th of December already. And a lot of ho-ho-ho in the air tonight. Hey, when is Satan next day? Nice ball. Is St. Nick's Day today or tomorrow? I'm not sure. I know I'm it's really the 5th or the 6th, sure. I think. Yeah, you got the uh, ask Steve Temple. Hey, Steve, do you know when St. Nick's Day is? It's the 5th or the 6th? It's the 5th? It's the St. Nick's Day. Hey, this is the eve of St. Nick, then, huh? All right. And St. Nick just heard you and got this little strike for Ben, Ben Marcel. Uh, I don't know if you got the message, but these are two good teams. Yeah. And yeah. you're going to see some strikes tonight, and you're going to see two new teams way up in the top 16, possibly number one. Another nine count, Lee, and there we go. All right, let's see what happens here. The seventh pin for his ball should be very, very easy. He's bowling for Mr. D's Imports. Carl Strong Stalin, one of the long names that we've had on the show. Yeah. He's married to Marilyn with children Monty, Debbie, and daughter-in-law Diane, and one granddaughter Monica. He likes bowling, going to the horse races, and cards. He was born in Westby, Wisconsin, and there's the score. In Recipe, Wisconsin? Westby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Ben Marcel, M-A-R-C-E-L-L. -L. All right. A mixer, yeah, double. He's been married for 16 years to Josephine. 177 average, bowling for Rawlings picture framing. Well, we're seeing a good start. There's a double for Ben, and here is Carl. You know, one of the prizes on the show that I mean I am truly excited about. That is the high man bowler prize of this current 10-week rollout. That high man bowler right now in 89 for John Meacham is high. Bowler and the bowling buddy each receive a Gents Day Date Seiko Quartz watch. And that's compliments of two of the nicest guys in the world, Mr. Ruprecht and Mr. Tobin at the Point Loomis Shopping Center, Ruprecht and Tobin Jewelers. You might explain that to people who keep saying to me, what is Tom saying? It tells the time, the day, yeah, uh, and the date. And also has the quartz in it. <laughs> carry around a quartz. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and here's Ben Marcel, who's had a 260 and a 652. Uh, he says, I would like to thank Tom Evans for the chance to bowl in the $1,000 Classic at Bolero. I'd like to give a special hi to my teammates on the South Milwaukee carpet team. Hugh Edgerton, Tom Evans, Tim Batulka, Gary Ring, and Mike Stranny. Oh, I remember Mike, and good luck to them all. And he says Jim Uniris is another one. Remember Jim, he won a car on this yeah, show once. Right. Oh, gosh, that was what, five years ago, yeah. I think it was? Five or six years ago. And this gentleman here who's on your screen now had a hole-in-one at Arrowhead Springs Golf Course. Hang on. Oh, Lee, we got an open there, and that will give him a 66. You know what that's going to do, Tom? Even it up a little bit with that double. He was going to town, but now Carl could actually win it. Yeah, if he gets three in a row, Lee, that'll give him a 78. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nice and full. All right, possible 78. One more will put him in the 70s. And he's won his match lead. All right, we're at Red Carpet North, where Larry Nowak's the manager on the great northwest side of Milwaukee. 76th and Florist, our specially designed studios, lane 59 and 60. And let's see if he can get another strike here. Right there. Nice. Now, oh, come on. 
<laughs> well, he's got a win. Wednesday night the 5th, uh, and I just figured it out. You know, Christmas is on a Tuesday, which means we will probably be on the air. Yeah, you're right. I think so. I really do. I'm not sure, but I think we'll be on Christmas night. Uh, yeah, I, I have to we'll check it. That, yeah, we'll <laughs> check it out for you. Oh, he missed it. We'll be right back to show you the score after this from Hopkins Savings and Loan with their new corporate office building in Mayfair and their brand new office in Germantown. Hopkins Savings and Loan. John McLaughlin for Hopkins Savings. If you run out of Christmas cash before you run out of people, start a Christmas club at Hopkins now. Avoid the Christmas shorts next year and choose a Christmas gift this year. A decorative cake or cookie tin or tray and coaster set. Join Hopkins Christmas Club. Hopkins Savings and Loan. Seven offices near where you live, work, or shop. Opening soon in Washington Square, Germantown. Hey, Stay Puff, do it again. Leave it to Stay Puff to come up with a practical dryer sheet. See? Reusable. Hey, Stay Puff, do it again. It's like getting twice the sheets in every box. Hey, Stay Puff, do it again. New Stay Puff sheets are made a special way. So the second load comes out soft and fresh and without static cling like the first. And they're perforated, so you only use what you need. Hey, Stay Puff, you've done it again. Make this Christmas sparkle for that special someone, whether a diamond, opal, emerald, or precious stone from Ruprecht and Tobin Jewelers. Choose from hundreds of unusual and beautifully styled rings and settings at Ruprecht and Tobin. All work is done right in the store, so you receive 40 years of skilled artistry and craftsmanship in mounting that special stone in a setting that will glorify the value of your ring and make it a lasting gift. Ruprecht and Tobin Jewelers in the Holiday Deck Point Luma Shopping Center, 3555 South 27. Austin Straw brings Christmas home to you. With great gift ideas from Evelyn Pearson. Bundle her up in a cozy fur pile wrap accented with a smart shawl collar. Luxuriously warm. Or give her a fluffy soft polyester fleece robe by Kaiser. Delicate smocking, easy zip front. Sweet dreams from Boston Store. Merry Christmas. Ben, it's like a poker game, as we always say. Your pair of sixes lost to a pair of sevens. I don't know how to make ten pins. Well, that's true. The ten pins are not easy on this show in front of five states. Anyway, you got a strike in the eighth, three games of bowling and a beverage from any of the red carpets, and a strike in the ninth. Ah, that beautiful T-shirt in a large size from Family Tees at two locations, and your choice of iron-on can say anything at all. Anything. You're anything. Well, now wait a minute. And the double is a case of wholesome products from Wholesome of Waukesha. And you know everyone is sensational. Your secret frame, though, you just missed it right here in the tent. That would have been that famous toolbox from Tools and Abrasives that you could have kept all the tools in. We'll give you the handmade ceramic dish from the Treasure House as a consolation award. And the bowling game towel from Personalized, whose addresses are... 50th and Hampton and 7439 Harwood Avenue. Very good. Give him a hand. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Ben Marcel. And here's the winner, Carl strong Stalin with a big 77. Now let's see what we can give you. The strike in the tent, that's the scrub-a-dub wash and wax for your car from any of the scrub-a-dubs. Your secret frame, oh, way over there. And that would have been $25 to spend at your nearby True Value hardware store, which we cannot give you. But we'll give you the winner's prize, two tickets to see Skip Wagner and one of the funniest shows in town at the El Vagabond Celebrity Show Lounge and your bowling game towel. Do you enjoy it? Yes, very much. Thank you very much, Carl. And the score, Mr. D's Import, 77. Rolling picture framing, 66. But it's not over, as you know. All right, Tom, if you're feeling sad and a little bit cruddy, <laughs> send in a card and be a bowling buddy. A bowling buddy, Lee. That's what you have to do. And you fill out a postcard with your name, address, and telephone number and send it a bowling buddy. Post Office Box 16627, Milwaukee, 53216. Steve Temple right back here from Red Carpet Lanes will tell you how profitable it is to be a bowling buddy. All the Red Carpet Lanes have bowling buddy cards, by the way, you can pick up. Back to Lee. Let's make this $390. We're getting close to that $400 figure, and here is the man himself, Bob Rawlings. Come on over, Robert. Hey. We'll find out how you feel being 11 pins down or 10 pins or 11. Yeah. Well, not too bad. You're not out of it by any means, no, right? Not at all. This is your chance to get a little plug in. Where is your company located? Uh, I'm at 7227 West North Avenue in Wauwatosa. 
And if a person wants to get framed, you're the man to do it. Well, we always say you've got to be in the right frame of mind to be in my business. Where does it say you're supposed to be funny on this show? <laughs> I'm supposed to be funny on this. No, that's a good motto. And your company's been in business a long time. Uh, 27 years. Wow, you must have started when you were four. Uh, not quite. I think I was uh, in the early 20s. Didn't you like it better my way? Right. Yes, of course. You've had a 669? Yes, that's years ago. And a 269? Right. What's your average? Uh, 152. Dorothy Lukasik of South 6th is your bowling buddy. Go on over there to lane 59 as I introduce Greg Hurty. Greg. You're about 6'3", also, right? Yeah. Or a little more? Um, no, a little less, about 6'2". All right, let's find out about you. You're single. Right. But what do we know about Colette? What do you want to know? <laughs> well, I mean, oh. is it serious, or are you just friends, or...? Oh, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. You won't give us a scoop on no, this show? Oh, all your fans are wondering how serious this really is. Oh, I ain't going to say nothing. Not going to say a word. What's your average? Uh, 158. All right, and your father bowls on this team. Right. Who is the better bowler? Uh, let's see. A couple weeks ago, I was. <laughs> a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Julie Blazer of North 82nd is your bowling buddy. What's your average? Uh, 158. All right, go on over there and say hello to Bob Rawlings, and we're all set to go with match two. And Rawlings is down by 11. High lady bowler of this current 10-week roll-off is going to be eligible to win a three-quarter length muskrat fur coat trim with a raccoon collar from Fred Miller Furs at 6055 West Fond du Lac Avenue, Milwaukee. One of the most beautiful coats you ever want to see. Look at him crank that ball. Yeah, right in the pocket. Did you see what he did with that ball? He brought it from way behind him yeah. and threw it out quite nicely. And he said, we're going to come back. And he is coming back. Well, either only just, just a touch over a mark down. I mean, 11 pins, that's not that bad. No, no. It's just that if you'll check the records, the team that starts off in trouble usually has a problem coming back. Yeah. And that's why we Ooh. allow them the benefits of the pivotal match in which to turn it around. Now, when is the pivotal match? The third one, Tom, the because one. it's the one that's the pivotal match. <laughs> the votal. The votal. As they say in France. All right, here is 25-year-old Greg Hurdy pulling for Mr. D's imports. He's single but has a friend named Colette who won't say a thing. He's an inbound receiver for the Green Bay... No, no, for J.C. Penny. <laughs> yeah, well, the Packers need it. Likes bowling, basketball, and baseball. 153 average. And here's the man that's going for a double, trying to put his team out in front for the first time, Robert J. Rawlings of the Rawlings Picture Framing Limited, but not very. His wife's name is Sandy. He's been married 23 years. Double time. Hey, oh, oh, it should have been. Listen to this, Tom. He has children. Try to keep up with me now, okay? Mary, Gloria, Bob Jr., Joe, Mike, James, John, Thomas, and Kathy, who is nine. Is that ten children? Or One, nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My goodness. Mm. Oh, I was afraid of that. Bob, Bob. He likes going to Marquette basketball games, and I think this year they're going to have a good, fast team. Well, uh, we wish Hank Raymond's best of luck. We really do. I bet we do. And we wish Larry Costello the best of luck, and I think he may need it. Yeah, with the does and the yeah. lucky does. This year, I, I think that he's having a little difficulty adjusting, perhaps. And everybody knows the success of the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, They're yeah. going to be seen right here on Good Looking 18, Channel 18. That's right. Starting December 12th. Get to know us better, and that uh, will be a Philadelphia game from Philadelphia with Dr. J and company. And uh, starts at 6.30, I think, the game time is. Right now, it's special guest time. We're going to bring up Mr. Steve Temple, who is the sales director for all the red carpet lanes. Steve, the reason we called you and said get over here is because we are being besieged with calls about the nine-pin tap singles classic. People can't believe that such a tournament exists where you can get a strike by throwing nine. Yes, uh, Lee, this tournament is open to all the men and women in the, in the uh, city of Milwaukee and Wisconsin. And we're very excited about this year's tournament because really anybody who's got that bad habit of getting nine pin taps can get in the tournament. Uh, everybody, regardless of what kind of average you, you have, can get in the tournament. We're really, real excited about it. It's, at any red carpet, they can they can enter and pay yeah. $6. Is that right? Right. They can qualify at any red carpet bowling center during the month of December. Uh, and uh, all the red carpet centers have squad times available, and there's there's plenty of openings, plenty of plenty of, uh, of an opportunity for them to get involved. The nice thing about it is they're not just doing it for themselves; they're doing it for a worthwhile cause. Right. 
All proceeds from the tournament will go to benefit United Cerebral Palsy, so it should be a, a real super, super event. Uh, through the cooperation of Schlitz Brewing Company, there's a $4,000 guaranteed prize list involved. So uh, it should be great. Well, you can bet your boots Tom and I are going to bowl on that because we get more nines than anything else. Okay, hope to see you there, Lee. And Steve, uh, I'm sure we'll see you before the holidays, but have a nice uh, holiday season. You too. Thank you very much. And Steve Temple, ladies and gentlemen, telling you about that tremendous tournament coming up. What is this? What's the starting date on that? December 1st. Okay. You're, in other words, it started already. Yeah. Because this is the 5th. It is the 5th, yeah. yeah. Hey, did you know? What? Just think about it. What a... What a Dynamite one-two combination that uh, Leo Pack and Steve Temple make at Red Carpet Lanes. Incredible. Why don't they go on the road as Pack and Temple? Pack and Temple? <laughs> or you see Steve Temple and Pack. That's possible, yes. Yeah. It's happened before. All right, Bob Rawlings, who says we have our own bowling team of six sons who all love to bowl. Also, he is secretary of the Bolero Wednesday 825 Scratch League, and he wants to say hi to Dick Bond, and Ken Hansen, his brother-in-law, Gordy Wolf, Judy and Dick, and Ron and Louise Simon. Come on, Bob. Oh, oh that hurts. Well, Lee, that'll be a, uh, let's 65. see, a 65. 65. And the scores have been fairly consistent, 77, 66, 65. Exactly, and that is exactly where they should be bowling to get in and stay in for the tournament, which is about eight weeks away. Here's Greg Hurty bowling for Julie Blazer of North 82nd Street. Bob Rawlings bowled for Dorothy Lukasik of South 6th. Come back. No. Well, he is not going to have a double, but he'll have a good game there, a possible 77, which would be a duplicate of Carl's. And we'll be very, very uh, close in this match tonight, but it looks like another victory for Mr. Dees, which will put him up by two or three marks. Hi, Lady Bowler of the uh, upcoming tournament is going to win a microwave oven, which is a super prize from the bowling game. This is an important spare. Well, Lee, Lee, whoa, oh, got it. Possible 77. And this 77 would give them another 12 pins. And that'll make it uh, 23 overall in the match. If he gets a strike right here, 23 pin difference. Very slow, deliberate no. approach. It's going to be uh, 73. What? Yeah, 19 pins overall. We'll be right back. Just in time for Christmas, Personalized announces a tremendous 20-day inventory reduction sale. You'll save a whopping 20 to 70 percent. Look at some of these buys. Ladies' bowling shoes, odd lot, $6.99. Men's bowling shoes, odd lot, $9.99. Ebonite Gyro 1 and Maxim 4 bowling ball, $27.99. Ebonite Magnum 9 and 10 bowling ball, $36.99. Personalized, 50th and Hampton and 7439 Harwood and Wauwatosa. Open Monday and Friday till 9. This weekend, it's American's Hi-Fi Expo at the Forum. Five million dollars of stereo will be offered by factory reps direct to consumers. Tape Deck 77, JBL 69, Technics DC Turntable 66, Belt Drives 47, 100 watt receiver 168, car stereo radio, Tape Deck and Jensen speakers 57 complete. Morant's discounted, Bose discounted, Sansui, TEC, Pioneer, Phase Linear, even cameras. Bring Visa, Master Charger, Arrange Financing, and American's Expo 4. Austin Star brings Christmas home to you. With great gift ideas from Puritan for the man who challenges style. Lamb's wool acrylic blend sweaters in assorted v-neck styles. Or give him a soft touch by Puritan. A great feeling and even greater look in Easy Care Orlan Acrylic from Puritan and Boston Store. Merry Christmas. Nothing is more critical to your car than regular oil changes. And Napa has everything you need to change your oil. A top quality Napa filter, five quarts of Napa oil, and the new Napa Drain Away, the compact disposable package that absorbs up to five quarts of dirty oil and then just goes into your trash. It's all in this handy Napa six pack. Carry one from your Napa auto parts store today. For quality Napa parts, see Lincoln Auto Supply and Henriksen Motor Supply. Well, what do you think? 
all pretty close series so far. All of them. All the matches have been very good, both of them. <coughs> However, you find yourself down by about 19 right now. Let's see what we can give you. Here's a $10 gift certificate from the fabulous Rich's Fine Dining on South 27th, and you will find Chef Maury to be a gracious host. And the strike in the 10th, Scrub-A-Dub wash and wax for your car from any of the Scrub-A-Dubs. But the secret frame, and we haven't been able to give one out yet, is right there. And that would have been a pair of gorgeous, fantastic tennis rackets, just for you. For my boys. For your boys, yes. Well, I can't. You, you, by the way, have nine children. Right. Right. I just wanted people to know that. And your bowling game towel will give you the uh, handmade ceramic dish from the Treasure House. And thank you very much, Mr. Sponsor. Bob Rawlings, the sponsor. Thank you, and good luck framing people. The winner, Greg Hurdy, with a strike in the ninth, a t-shirt from Family Tees, and the spare, the scrub it up, wash and wax, and the secret frame for you, we finally have a winner. Yeah. Greg and his bowling buddy have won a $25 league of certificate from Denison Furniture and Carpeting in South Milwaukee. Well, the only trouble is he's single, Tom. So now maybe we'll get a statement about Colette. Here, you can go over to Denison's. You have a bowling game towel. You're not going to say a word, right? And... And we give you the two tickets to uh, to see Skip Wagner. Who are you going to take? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Here's the score. Mr. D is 150. Rawlings, 131. And a 6 7 10 split, Thomas. What happens? The bowler's going to win Lee that set of his or her snowmobile outfits from Panetti Yamaha, 5623 North Green Bay Avenue, Milwaukee, and 724 South Military Road in Fond du Lac. We reach that plateau that we love, the $400 mark. Come on, baby, you can do it. Thank you very much. Here's a man that would love to win it, Captain Joe Woyak. Joe. Come on over here. You told me that uh, in Polish that means soldier. That's right. So you're a strong soldier yeah. type. Yeah, I'm a strong soldier type. As a captain of the team, are you a great bowler? Uh, in between. <laughs> in between good and bad? Good and bad. <laughs> What's your average, Joe? 158. You work for Jay's Potato Chips. That's right. There's a man in the chips. That's it. Not <laughs> really got a laugh, huh? Yeah, you sure did. He must be friends of yours. Uh, now I'm friends of mine. Alma Waltz of Racine is your bowling buddy. Wave to Alma out there. Listen, and my wife's name is Alma, too. Your wife's name is Alma? Hey, that's really something. <laughs> wait, 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 wave to both of them, then. Okay, I'll wave to both okay, of them. Okay, now go on over there. And here's Tom Conradson. 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 C-O-N-R-A-D-S-O-N, right? Elaine Decker of Sheboygan is watching you. Say hi to Elaine out hi, there. Hi, Elaine. Okay, now let's find out about you. You work for Super Steel? Right. It's, it's a, a bird, it's a plane, oh. it's Super Steel. Right, it's a steel fabricating plant in Milwaukee. Oh. And you uh, are a fabricator? No, I'm uh, one that sells them. <laughs> I see, you're a salesman, right. Your average is what? 163. And your high of all time? I have all time about a 601. Well, you got there. Yeah. Go barely. on over there, barely. And let's send them off for match number three. We call this the pivotal match. We have a ball that converts a four, six, seven, ten split on the shoulder. We got a prize in this one I've seen myself and uh, unusual furniture at artistic wood creations. In fact, the bowler will win a natural wood slab table with the deep high gloss finish. Artistic Wood Creations is at 108 12 West Janesville Road in Hales Corners, Wisconsin, right around the corner from Highway 100 on Janesville Road. Beautiful store. Joseph Woyak, 62, married, captain of this team, has children Judy and Joe and four grandchildren. He's a salesman for Jay's Potato Chip Company, likes golfing and bowling and all sports, born in Stevens Point. He said bowling is a night out with the boys. You can get a chance to blow off a little steam and then relax after it's all over. Well, that, that was costly right there. But for the Mr. D's team, they just continue to sail along with a 19-pin lead. And let's see what Tom Conradson does. Bowling for Elaine Decker of Sheboygan. Tom is 29 years of age. Nice hook, and he's got a picket pick fence. Picket fence, Lee, and that's the $25 gift certificate from the nine participating shops at the barn in Delafield, if he makes it. One, two, four, and seven. He is a salesman for Super Steel products, like you know, bowling, golf, camping, and hunting, and racquetball. You know, Lee, just a little bit of trivia about the jackpot right now. $400, this is only the second time this year that we have gone over the $400 mark. You're right. It's getting up there real good, but I got that feeling tonight. I don't know why. Picket fence prize. That will be coming up. That's better. Oh, nice hit. That's perfect. All right. Joe Wyack finally got one. 
So in the eighth, Joe has a strike, and if he could run a couple, his team would be right back in it again. But in the meantime, here's Tom Conradson, a lifelong resident of Milwaukee. He's been bowling for seven years with a 163 average, and he's had a 601. All right, Tom. Cross it. Yeah, come on. Look at that. Trailer fiddle with me. The question we ask on the sheet is, why do you like to bowl? And he says, ask me when I'm finished on the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom Conradson. Going for the seventh pin, and look where he stands, right in the center. Some people go way over towards the uh, ball rack. Nice but with that hook of his, that's fine. All right, top of the ninth. Who are the teams tomorrow night? Uh, two men's team, or two, actually two ladies teams tomorrow night. We have, uh, is it Giles or Giles Leilani? Uh, I think it's Giles. Giles Leilani. We'll find out tomorrow night. I guess the GET remodeling team. Okay, two ladies teams with some pretty fair averages. Yeah. All right, we have a prize on this, the 510, the Sherlock Prize. Sherlock Clothing, women's and children's fashions, three locations. All he has to do is make this, and his family will enjoy it. Tonight, I want to tell you about a beautiful blonde and her estranged, divorced husband. They crash land in a desert oasis at 8 o'clock, and that's a movie called Station 6, Sahara. Oh, and what's her name? Carol, Carol Baker. Baker, yeah. I, yeah. Look at this, look at this. Hey, all right! Sherlock beautiful Sherlock. ball. And Joe just gets himself a Sherlock prize. Super. 5-7. That'll be following us tonight. That's a good movie, too. Exciting. And then Bobby Van, Make Me Laugh, 10 o'clock tonight. How about this? Lightly mixes it. At 10.30, Burgess Meredith plays an obsolete man on Twilight Zone. And the flowers play an important part in our show. From Nature's Nook, Lee West National Avenue in New Berlin, they have salmon gladiolos, tangerine carnations, brown chrysanthemum, champagne pomps, leather leaf fern, and woven wheat ribbon on there, too. And uh, the trophies are from? The trophies are from Don Ciardo's place. Bull Rider Butler and uh, Champion Awards. I'm just noticing, Tom, the reason I hesitated there, we have a stripe pin jackpot coming up in a few moments worth a $400 prize. Yeah, a lot of money. Pretty soon. Tenth frame for Joe Wyack, his team down by 19. Score 150 to 131. Mr. D's imports out in front. Hey, good ball. Hold it, Tom. Tom. Tom wants that money. He saw that spin. He wants that money. But he's got to wait a little bit longer. You know, we have not had a winner in the jackpot for about two weeks now. Well, this would uh, be a lovely night to do it with Christmas in the air. 200 bucks for him, 200 for his bowling buddy. Wow. Is it a double? No. Nope. Most he can get now is a 66, and Tom, I've never seen such consistency on one team. 66, 65, and now a possible 66. Same thing on the other side, too, at least 77, 73. These, both these teams are doing exactly what we tell every team to do, and that's bowl, they're anywhere 65 and over. For four frames, everybody understands, of course, that that's good bowling. Yeah. That's a lot true. of people tuning in say, what kind of show is that where you got a guy bowling a 50? <laughs> Uh-oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Now, well, that'll be a... Uh, okay. 63. Yeah. Well, it's still a good score. But what, what happens now is if Tom gets a mark, he'll win with a good count. And a chance to win $400 right here. Big one, big one. Come Look at that hook. Look at that hook. Look at that ball. Oh, I don't believe it. You can't hit it. Four, $400, and he, he hit it perfectly. That's right. Steve Temple just said that would qualify him for the nine-pin tap. Right, well, sure would, Lee. Boy, what a hit. Don't forget tonight, Rat Patrol at 11 o'clock on 18, and uh, Dragnet at 11.30, and Love American Style at 12, all on 18. Get to know us, Milwaukee. Watch this one now, that hook of his. Yeah, he's won a match. One more for a 67 and a four-pin four victory. Tom, they'll be up by about 23 pins, and that means that we go into the fourth match with still a close one. It'll be Bill Torty and George Colwise for their respective teams. Tonight, Joe Woyak bowled for Alma Waltz of Racine and Tom Conradson for Elaine Decker of Sheboygan. And we'll be right back. Let's give both teams a hand. They have done a tremendous job tonight keeping it close and exciting. KK Federal Savings and Loan. From our little corner of the world, we've seen Milwaukee through almost 70 years of change. We've remained steady through the good times and through the times when there seemed to be no hope. From the clatter of trolleys to the thunder of 747 jets. 
KK Federal has been a solid savings institution since 1912. And we're still here today, helping you save for tomorrow. All of these make popcorn the same way. Now West Bend offers you a better way. The revolutionary stir crazy. The West Bend stir crazy's amazing automatic stirring action heats each kernel evenly to give it a bigger pop. The result? Bigger, fluffier popcorn. Hot, buttered, delicious. Stir crazy. The better way to pop popcorn. Made only by West Bend. The West Bend stir crazy corn popper is available at all Kohl's department stores. You know, Lee, Champion Awards Milwaukee's top name in trophies has opened up the newest and most progressive bowling pro shops in the area. You get professional service from the Champion Awards staff of outstanding bowlers. Don Ciardo, Glenn Miller, and John Megna can show you names like Brunswick, AMF, Ebonite, and more. And gift certificates are available for holiday giving. You get friendly service and competitive pricing at Champion Awards. Three great locations, 9444 South Chicago, North 124th, and 98th in Oklahoma. Well, Dad, the 1980 Dodgers are in, and the selection is better than ever. Right, Harvey, and the 1980 Murata, what a car. And, of course, the classy Diplomat and St. Regis. Plus, the dependable, hard-working Dodge vans and trucks. There's one for every need. And for those people with trade-ins, we still offer the highest allowances in town. North Shore Dodge. We're easy to get to. 14th and Silver Spring. Your team is the picture of consistency, 66, 65, 63, but you're also losing. Yeah, that's right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it can turn around fast. You got a strike in the eighth, three games of bowling and a beverage for you anytime you stop in at red carpet. In the tenth, a strike gives you a scrub it up, wash and wax, your secret frame right between them, Joe. That would have been a portrait of you to last forever from Claremore Portrait Studios. <laughs> would give you a bowling game towel and a handmade ceramic dish from the treasure house and march off like a good soldier, Joe. How much split? Oh, you want a prize for that? Oh, sure. He wants a prize for the five, seven split. All right, we'll give him a $25 gift certificate from Sherlock Clothing. Shirley and Lois at three locations, Brookfield, Delafield, and Milwaukee. And women's and children's fashions, you'll look lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joseph. Tom Conradson. Conradson. I'll get it. I can't find too many things to give you except to scrub it up there. Your secret frame was here for a bowling party for four with beverages for many of the, the red carpets. You get a bowling game towel and two tickets to see Skip Wagner at El Vagabond, and congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Your team is doing very well. 217 for Mr. D's. Rawlings picture frame, 194. And let's make this $410 in the jackpot. Oh, boy, is that getting up there. Here's Bill Torty. Come on over, Bill. Bill, we got to get you out there. Your team is down by 23, not that bad, right? No, that's not too bad. Who do you want to say hi to at Durkee's? Durkee's Jim Ford. Okay, wave to Jim. Hey, Jim. <laughs> He's the Olive King, you know. The Olive King. That's right. Jerry Nugent of South 76 is your bowling buddy, and your average is what? 172. Good luck. Your team needs help. Here's George Colweiss. Come on over, George. <laughs> hi, George. You didn't get a big hand, did you? Not well. <laughs> I guess most of them are still sleeping yet. <laughs> On Wednesday night? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Are you really a disc jockey? No, 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 my son is. Oh, your son is, I was going to say. Well, he's a disc jockey over at WRKR in Racine. Right. That country, country station. The new country station, WWEG. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you personally have had a 269 and a 699. Right. What's your average? 170. Norman Reed of West Dallas is your bowling buddy. Go meet Bill, and may the better man win. This is a very crucial... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Mr. Conradson got a picket fence prize, Thomas. Yeah, we have to mention that, Lee, because yeah. uh, Tom did win that prize. $25 gift certificate from the nine shops at the barn, 2420 Milwaukee Street in Delafield. One of the other prizes that Tom won, uh, making that picket fence, the 1247 is what he did. And also, Lee, we have a 4710 split made on this show. The bowler and the bowling buddy each received the complete home fire and security system installed with one year free service, compliments of Johnson Controls, Central Station of Milwaukee, 507 East Michigan. Yeah. Tom Conradson got a prize. Joe Wyack got a prize. One for the 5-7. Uh, the other one for a picket fence. Right. You know, the picket fence prize is fun because it's not that difficult. I mean, if you hit that picket fence just right, you're going to win. So that's one that I like to see come up because I know that nine out of ten times we're going to have a winner on that one. And Mr. Conradson got his. All right, we're on lane 60. George Colweiss, whose son is a DJ.
He says, I'm 52 years young, but I feel like 39. And he said to tell everybody that Nick Demopoulos runs Mr. D's at 76th at Appleton. Okay? He is married and the grandfather of two pretty girls, Jennifer Lynn and Jamie Lee, and children George, Michael Jr., Deborah Lynn, Greg Lawrence. He works at uh, Godfrey Company, Waukesha, Sentry Foods. He likes bowling, gardening, and collecting cigars. You know, the up until this match, interesting point here about the show so far tonight, we have had nine strikes, right? We have had three strikes in each individual match. Not only that, but we've had two strikes from each guy from the Rawlings Picture Framing Company and one strike in each match from Mr. D's Import. So maybe that kind of tells the story, too. It sure does. Yeah. Bill Torty is up there right now. He is 61, married with children Tom and Sue. He's sales rep at Durkee Foods. Likes golf, bowling, and traveling. Born in Des Moines, Iowa. The score, 194 for Rawlings. And 217 oh, for Mr. D's, and that is another big break for Mr. D's. I, 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 I'm just trying to figure out why they get so close and then things happen. Lee, they're not capitalizing on those opens that, uh, that Rawlings put up, but we got a jackpot. $410. Told you tonight I had a feeling. This is our second attempt. Oh, big ball right here. Oh, oh. not there, but another, another picket, picket fence. fence. <laughs> oh, that is a shame. Well, maybe. It's in the hands of fate. Maybe that jackpot is supposed to get up to maybe seven or eight hundred dollars and somebody wins it for Christmas. You know, we really can use only it. seen that on our show once. Once in the five years that you and I have done it, I think we had a seven hundred and some dollar jackpot, seven hundred and eighty dollar jackpot one one time. See? There it is, another pick and fence prize. Proves my theory. That that is one that a lot of them make. A picket fence prize for George. We just gave one of those away recently. Well, possible if Bill would strike out, get four in a row, he could have an 86 game. Not now. No, 610 there, which will give him a possible 66. George, let's see. Or rather, Bill is bowling for Jerry Nugent of South 76. Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, boy, I was afraid of that. Mm. You're right. They're not taking advantage of it right now. Here's George Colweiss. Bowls Wednesday and Fridays in a couples league every other Sunday, 170 average. Cross it. Five in. He said bowling's a good, healthy exercise and a good way to make new friends. And my son, George Jr., already has a sanctioned 300 game, so I cannot let him show me up. My high is 269 and a 699. I want to take a moment of time to tell you that you, Tom, and Channel 18 have a terrific show. We wish you a happy holiday season. That's nice, George. Thank you, Thank George. You. Very nice. George Colwise being very nice to us. Five and pin. Being nice to himself with that spare. Now we're in the tenth. We have a bowler converts a 7-10 split on the show. The prize to the bowler and the bowling buddy, the two-horsepower spirit outboard motor from Casanova is at 1423 South Muskego Avenue, Milwaukee. In the event, the prize is not given away before the tournament. The outboards are going to be awarded to the high man bowler and the bowling buddy in the tournament. Watch that one now. Outside. See, it's getting away. The next two bowlers will be the anchor bowlers. They'll have it all up to them. Bill Correo and Gene Hurty. Yeah, Leah, the way it looks right now, is that the Mr. D's imports team is going to add on again. Is going to add on to that. They have not they lost a match. Lost. That's right. right. And that's the key. If you can shut out the opponents, you have won yourself the match. And the point is, can they get into the top spot in the top 16? Well, we'll see. We'll hang on there and tell you. 43. That is too bad for Bill. Bill Torty is not happy with that. So now everything George gets is added on. George, we're late. Fifty nine is the lane. Red carpet north is the place, and the bowler is George Colwise. K O H L W E I S S. Get it! There's one. Bowling for Norman Reed of West Dallas. That's forty seven and a possible seventy seven. And Tom, they have had. This will be their third one in the seventies if he gets one more strike. 
I have a hunch they can be the new top team in the top uh, 16. Yeah, and also they're going for the jackets, too. 350, 350 game or higher. Right, from Don Ciardo's Champion Awards and Bull Wright. Beautiful bowling game jacket. Look at this ball come back. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. They got it going now. There's no way that uh, you can stop a team that's on the right track, and they're just yeah, zooming down the line here. Look at that consistency. You talked about that earlier. Look at that. 77, 73, 67. We're going to have another 70 game right here. And right here, we're going to take time out to meet the folks at Regency Curtis Mathis Showrooms. That's our brand new sponsor, and boy, do they have some wonderful TV sets waiting for you. Let's meet them right here. A handy person will appreciate a stocking filled with handy gifts from True Value Hardware Stores, like this Master Mechanic 25-foot positive locking tape measure or three-piece chisel set with bevel ground blades. A dependable crescent adjustable wrench has hundreds of uses, and the Stanley keychain knife is tiny but mighty. Then an ideal gift for craft making and metal repairs is the Weller dual heat soldering gun with three copper tips and more from participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. Cynthia wants me to uncork the snappy dry wine that she brought. What I'd rather do is relax and have the wine I really like. Or the Mogan David. Right. Am I ever ready for you, Mogan David? You cold, easy-going glass of full-flavored enjoyment. <laughs> You're the wine I really like. Thank you. You're welcome. Mogan David, it's not the wine you're supposed to like. It's the wine you really like. Discover a new world of values with Walgreens Galaxy of Gifts. Fruit collection for men. Lotion, cream lotion, and soap on a rope. Only $15. Northern Pocket Pistol 1200 Watt Hair Dryer. Walgreens sale price, only $7.99. Save $4 on this Texas Instruments memory calculator. Sale price, just $8.99. At Walgreens, the Christmas Shoppers Center. Before Christmas, people living west and east begin to talk about the feast. And while songs are sung and stories told, at Drew's Variety Stores, the Sugar Plum Fairies are busy laying out thousands and thousands of toys for tots all over town. The selection ranges from over $10 to toys in the $5 range down to a host of toys under $1. Drew's fantastic array of toys even startles Santa. See them all at Drew's Discounts during Drew's special Santa season sale. The bad news, Bill, is your team is down by 57 right now with four frames to go. Yeah, I know. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Anything's <laughs> possible on this show. No prizes for you, though. That's, that's the sad part. You needed a strike there. We could have had bowling lessons for you from the famous Mopsies and Jim Revolinsky at Mopsies Golf Range. We can't give it to you. Let's see what else. We've got to give you a bowling game towel, of course, on the handmade ceramic dish from the Treasure House. And, Bill, thank you very much. Thank you. Good to have you. The winner, George Colewise with a 77. You guys are really burning up the lanes. This strike in the tenth is the scrub it up, wash and wax. The double is a case of wholesome products. That uh, third strike, Tom, what do you want to give him for a three-bagger? Well, a three-bagger, that's a night on the town lead from El Vagabond Restaurant. Primer dinner for two with entertainment at 639 West Layton Avenue, Milwaukee. And for the ca the secret frame right there. And he wins a $25 gift certificate from the printer in Shorewood for personalized stationery. Terrific. <laughs> And how about a uh, prize for the picket fence? Well, George wins the $25 gift certificate from the nine shops at the barn, 2420 Milwaukee Street, Delaware. Cleaned us out there at a bowling game towel. We give you two tickets to see Skip Wagner. Thank you, George. Thank you, Lee. Thank and you. the score, 294, Mr. D's and Rawlings, 237. Let's make this $420 in the jackpot, 420. Wow, here's Phil Correo, the anchor bowler. Come on over, Phil. Give him a hand. Get some encouragement here. Phil, this is a busy season for you. You run Phil's Beverage Center. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Well, I hope you have a good holiday business. I hope so, too. <laughs> and I hope you do well tonight, because you need help. Right. <laughs> Evelyn Lamira of West Scott is your bowling buddy. Your average is what? 164. Good luck to you. Here is Gene Hurdy, the captain of his team. And again, Gene, a moment of truth where you can sort of relax a little. Oh, I thank you. I hope so. This man, by the way, who was on the show once before, won the highest or the biggest jackpot in our history, $770. And he still got it. Right. <laughs> Well, we're up there now to the second highest this year, 420. Dolores DeLue of Grafton is your bowling buddy. Your average is what? 170. Good luck. Your team is in good shape right now, up by 57 pins. And here's Phil. 
If a bowler converts that 4-6 split on the show, what a prize we have. To the bowler and the bowling buddy, they get a diamond in their choice of settings from Robert Hack Diamond Center, 7700 West Brown Deer Road in Milwaukee. Mm, what a prize. A lot of wood. I knew that. Anytime you get a thin hit on that lane. Phil Carrillo, he's got a good business at this time of the year, Tom. Phil's Beverage Center, and you can imagine everybody buying their Christmas products there. He's bowling for Rawlings Picture Framing, where you can get framed. He has children, Bernadette, Philip, and Joseph, and he likes golf and bowling. 164 average. Spells his name C-O-R-R-A-O. -R -R On the three-pin lead? Yep. Yes. Phil Correo opposing this man, Captain Gene Hurty. A man who won $770 bowling on this show, proving that in three seconds you can be a wealthy millionaire overnight. Well, not a millionaire, but... Well, with the way things are these days, you can multiply that by investing <laughs> it properly. That's right. Might be able, buy, be able to buy a couple of gallons of gas with that kind of money. He could buy into Rothman Productions for that, I'll tell you. He'd be happy what's, to wake him vice president. To into it? Well, right now our stock is at... 0.1. <laughs> really, but it'll get better. It's getting there. Eugene is 50 and married to Carol. Two boys, Gregory and Mark. He's a warehouseman at Godfrey Company. Likes fishing, antique collecting, and refinishing. All right. You know, Lee. Top of the eighth. If somebody, if somebody wanted to come down and watch this show, they wanted to see it done in person live, sit in our audience, how would they do that? <laughs> they first would get their earmuffs on, and <laughs> put a coat on, and come out in a cold night. On Friday, that is. We do uh, two shows Friday night, one at 6 and one at 7.30. And it's all free here at 76 in Florist. And then if they want to, uh, hey, all right. If they want to sleep over, Tom, we'd love to have them here Saturday morning when we do the other three shows. First one starting at uh, 9, one at 10.30, and then one at 12.30. It's great fun, and it's all free. Incidentally, we will be preempted on a few occasions in December during the holidays. Yeah, our director told us we should mention that we will not be on Christmas Day and the day after Christmas, December 25th and 26th. We have a couple of holiday specials on those nights. I guess we will be on Christmas Eve, though, the 24th. Yeah, uh, we will. That's we know right now. Well, that'll be our big holiday show, then. Yeah. We'll decorate Dwayne Orcher <laughs> with... Uh, Frankincense and myrrh. They're a funny comedy team. I've seen them before. Have you? Yeah. Cross it? No, oh, too much. Far. He started over too far. He was going for a double, which would have helped his team and helped his cause, but the way it is now, they're going to lose cause. They did not take well, advantage of the cause. It's basically over, Lee. Uh, Mr. Dees gets the victory tonight. Uh, let's just see how far the teams go in the top 16. That's what we're concerned about right now. I would like to thank both teams for being here. I'd like to thank the audience. I'd like to thank uh, Mike Capriolo, the new manager of the Hopkins Savings Loan Office in Germantown. We'd like to thank uh, Steve Temple, sales director of Red Carpet. All these important men gave up some valuable time to be with us and uh, they're still with us which means they like the show because we give them the option if they're busy of getting up and leaving but they're staying yeah. which means it must be a tremendous show I beg them to <laughs> oh could have been well it's all over the winner undoubtedly will be Mr. D's imports the question is how high will they finish in the top 16 we will find out in just another minute or so We'll have a couple of words from our sponsors, then be back to give out as many prizes as the clock will allow. And then tomorrow night, we will introduce you to the feminine side of the ledger with two lovely ladies' teams. He missed it! Okay, Phil, let's go. Here is Phil on his final attempt to bring glory to his team and to himself on lane 60. If Phil gets three in a row, it's a 74, and he would be high man on his particular team. So far, high on his team has been a 66 for leadoff bowler Big Ben. Yeah, we got a tie right now for high bowl of the night, 77s. There's hey, a we prize got... on that. And then, of course, the uh, dozen roses are bouquet from Kolb's Flowerland. Two locations, K-O-L-B-S, Kolb's Flowerland. And uh, also that 619 album or tape of his choice from Total Eclipse Records in the Falls Plaza, Menominee Falls, Dennis and Company out there. What do you think? Can he fit it in there? No, not that time. That'll be the end of the line of 52, or 53 rather, for Phil. And here is Gene with a possible 78. Tom, and if he gets one, that'll be awfully consistent. All right, Lee, that's a 290 total for the, uh, for the Rollings picture framing team. They will be somewhere around 10th place, okay? Around 8th place, I should say, about 8th, 8th or 9th place. All right, there's one. 
One more and he'll be in the 70s. And Tom, this team is on the verge of a big 360 total. They would be number one. And we knew it as soon as they came in tonight. They, they were practicing and knocking down that uh, those pins without any trouble. And I said, watch these guys tonight. Lee, they're going to be back for the tournament, I'm sure of that. Uh, and they'd be somebody to watch out for, I think, at the tournament. Very consistent bowlers. Don't open a lot. That's good. Not enough that yeah. time. All right, one more ball for a 68. And they are really consistent. They're the type team that could go far in the tournament because they are so consistent. Well, Lee, when you have three guys roll in the 70s and the other two guys get good 60s, almost 70s, that's that's excellent. That's All right, excellent. we'll be right back as soon as he throws this ball. And if we have any time, we'll give out prizes. If not, we'll say good night. We'll see. Let's give him a hand. Both teams try. I love summer, sunshine, warm breezes. It's terrific, huh? You know Wisconsin weather leave could change just like that. I see what you mean. You can beat the snow with an easy-to-use Lawn Boy snow thrower. Hey, this Lawn Boy delivers 26% more power, makes quick work of snow, easy starting and handle control, and convenience and safety. And it's so lightweight, you can even hang it up for storage. So don't get snowed under this winter. Get a Lawn Boy. The snow is coming soon. Oh, Tom, we won't have much snow this year. I checked with the almanac. ha, 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 ha. Wisconsin is blessed with many things, including some of the finest health care in the world. Many of us have WPS group insurance to help pay medical costs, but some are self-employed or run a small business. For these people, WPS offers the special service plan, providing hospital, surgical, and medical benefits of the type that parallel many group plans. And with a choice of deductibles, the cost for you and your family is pretty flexible. WPS Blue Shield. We're seeing more transmissions these days. People are keeping their cars longer and taking better care of them. Accurate Transmission Service can help keep your transmission in top working order by offering you a special preventative maintenance package. At Accurate Transmission, we'll check your transmission, change the fluid, clean the screen, adjust the bands and linkage, replace the pan gasket, and road test your car. Call the Accurate Transmission Service nearest you. The $7 you pay now could save you hundreds later. When Pat Clancy, president of the J.C. Sloan Company, visits the diamond factories in Antwerp, he has the experience and expertise that allows him a significant buying edge. This buying edge pays off when he inspects and buys diamonds for the Sloan Company. Every diamond is guaranteed to appraise 20 to 40 percent higher than the purchase price. And at the Sloan Company, you can return your purchase for any reason whatsoever and get a full refund within 30 days. The J.C. Sloan Company. Now you have a friend in the diamond business. By virtue of the 361, Mr. D's Imports is the new number one team in the top 16. And Phil, so you don't feel bad, your team is now ninth in the top 16. Ninth place is not that bad for you, a strike in the eighth, three games of bowling and a beverage from red carpet. Your secret frame is here, could have been that aquarium setup from Hofer's. We can't give it to you, but we'll give you the bowling game tile, the ceramic dish from the treasure house, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. And the winner, Gene, you did very well. You got the strike in the eighth, three gains of bowling and a beverage from red carpet, and the scrub it up, wash and wax, and your secret frame, sorry, was right between them. Would have been a club bag, but your team did win those beautiful jackets from Don Ciardo's. Sure and nice. they're, they are nice. They're blue this year, and they're gorgeous. We thank Don, and those will be given to all your teammates. We give you the bowling game towel, and, of course, the winner's prize, two tickets to see Skip Wagner. Thank you very much. Thank you. And do we have two more prizes? A high bowler. We've got a tie. Carl and George at 77. They win with their bowling buddies the preventive maintenance pack. Package from Accurate Transmission. Three locations. Bill was low with a 43. He wins with his bowling buddy, Bird Feeder and Bird Seed from Nature's Nook. We did not have a winner on the cash frame, sorry to say. All bowlers are going to get a copy of the Wholesome Foods recipe book from Wholesome of Waukesha. And we're going to have a trophy from Don Ciardo's Champion Awards and Bull Rider Butler for the winners. And we have a special prize, a chocolate trophy from Quality Candies that you're all going to love. All bowlers will get that. And the winning team, of course, gets a six-pack of beer for each member. And tonight we've been brought to you by Regency Curtis Mathis. Five convenient locations in Milwaukee and Hopkins Savings alone here to build your future. Good night. Good luck and good bowling, everybody! The Bowling Game, directed by Dwayne Orcher, has been a WVTV videotape presentation.
Remember last winter? This winter, fight back with Scout. Scout's four-wheel drive plows through snow that stops ordinary cars in their tracks. And now's the time to buy on international models. The music starts here. Observatory of Music. I think between the two of us, we can handle one cowboy. I just remember he carries a badge. A man can get away with a lot when he thinks...